Welcome back to episode 16 of the Provenance Marketing Show. I'm your host, Ryan Jennings, and we're going to talk about some new products. This week, we have a little bit of a focus on products that are native to New Zealand uh, and natural, starting with NZ Native Herbal Products. Uh, This is the invention of Scott Smith, who runs a brand called Oku, uh, and These have a number of different properties, these products, but the thing they have in common is that they're all native to New Zealand uh, and they are things that are great for your health. So uh, I've been drinking this tea here, the Kawakawa Immune, uh, which is a beautifully fragrant tea with a powerful blend of herbs that combines the best of the New Zealand bush with age-old traditional herbs that may assist in fortifying your immune function any time of the year. What Scott also included for me is one of these little tea dippers here, which extracts all of the goodness out. In this particular tea, the Kawakawa, it also has manuka. And that gives it a little bit more of a sweetness. Delicious, because usually with a lot of teas, they have a better aroma than the taste. That's not the case with the Kawakawa Immune. So I imagine with the rest of Scott's range, which also focuses on those NZ native plants, it is the same. With his, these potions here, which are actually are called elixirs, and the the dictionary name for what an elixir means is magical or medicinal potion. These are for probably about this time of year, really, where We're starting to get those winter colds. This is a cough and chest elixir. Uh, There's another one here to help with the immune system. Again, it focuses on the manuka and the kawakawa as the key ingredients. So these are for adults and children. Uh, What I like, again, about what Scott's been doing is these aren't done on a commercial harvest. These are what he says is wild-crafted herbs uh, with healing properties, which he forages for and that's what makes these products. So this is something that can set a brand apart when you're doing something that is handcrafted and hand foraged, uh, as is the case with Oku. So if you'd like to win these, we will have a reason up in the copy. Uh, Let's make sure we're all healthy out there and drinking delicious teas through the winter. On to the next one. This is a company called Complete Kids Nutrition. And it's for the fussy eaters in your family. So you may have had that period of time where your kids won't eat certain things. It might be fruit, it might be vegetable, it might be something that you're wondering, why will they not eat this one food? Uh, And you get worried about, are they getting all of their nutritional needs? So what Todd has come up here with Complete Kids Nutrition is a way to give you confidence that your kids are getting all of their nutrients. This is an alternative for, particularly on the go, if you wanna make something that you know is going to be good and healthy for them, uh, there's a number of different flavors that uh, they are bound to like, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Uh, It comes with its own shake. So it feels like these are almost like protein shakes, but they are fortified with a number of other products. Things like whey protein, casein protein, Uh, They've got some uh, potassium, magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, vitamin A, B, C, D, E, F, and folate. Our shakes are low lactose, gluten-free, low in sugar, and low in fat, making them a perfect option for your child's lunchbox. And with no resulting sugar crash, they will not jeopardize their ability to learn or concentrate. So that's fascinating. Um, Seeing a bit of a trend here with people wanting to move away from sugar, although sugar in itself isn't bad, Uh, A lot of it or a lot of anything can be bad for you. What I like about what Todd has done on the website is rather than just buy this product one off, you can just set up a subscription. So if you've got two or three kids, this is a way of getting it into your household without having to remember every single month. So good on you. CompleteKidsNutrition.com is the website. Last one for today is a company called Herbology. This is their range up the front here. They do, well, Faye is an aromatherapist at Herbology, and she's created this range for a number of different conditions or things that you may want to um, look after your health or your skin. 
such as this organic rose hip one here. Uh, we've got a organic slender here and here nourisher over here. Um, and I think if we, a couple of these ones at the front, this is a mosquito repellent. It's got the Kiwi trademark at the top there, which makes it easy for businesses and consumers to see where something is made. It's probably what I need to take on holiday, actually. I'm going to a place um, which is potentially going to have a ton of mosquitoes. Pleasant smelling mosquito repellent that is a safe, natural way to chase away those annoying mosquitoes, roll on wrists and temples. So instead of the usual DEET, which some people are um, intolerant of or creates an irritant, uh, this contains organic jojoba oil, primrose oil, citronella and geranium. And sometimes nature is best, right? Nature already has the answer and it's just humans working out that these products have really good properties. Um, so this, if this is something you're into or something you need to solve, there is the Range On Phase website. Just go to herbologynz.com and you have this whole range to purchase. If you don't want to purchase it, that's fine. We're going to give these away. Uh, probably give them away in a couple of different lots. Again, we'll put up in the description how you can win these products. That's our range for this week. I do want to do a couple of Q&A questions. These are questions that have come through our website, buynz.org.nz. Hello, we're a fiberglass plant in West Auckland who specialize in the manufacture of ute canopies. The canopy itself is made on site from glass fiber and then molded and sprayed on site. And this is a major component of the product. The glass for the window is imported. Can we use the NZ Made license? So to answer this, the question is with your manufacturing process, what components are from where? So you've said the canopy, which is fiberglass, is manufactured here, which is great, and the glass is imported. So the question is, what's the significant manufacturing process? And the finished product, what's the purpose of a canopy? And in my view, the purpose of a canopy on a ute uh, is going to be to provide shelter to tools or whatever is inside that canopy. We want to see that that canopy part is manufactured from something that's made in New Zealand. In your case, it's fiberglass here, so your product is likely to qualify. Although the glass is a interesting feature for the canopy, it is not critical for the canopy's function and for that reason your canopies will qualify uh, as New Zealand made so it's worth making an application. Question 2. We have recently started up a business selling buckwheat, 100% New Zealand grown. How can we get the sticker for our packaging? That's super easy. If your buckwheat is grown in New Zealand then it qualifies. Uh, it also means that if you label that New Zealand grown onto your buckwheat product you are also compliant with the Country of Origin Food Labelling Act, uh, which was recently passed in Parliament in December of 2018. Hi, our licence is expiring on the 30th of June 2019, but till now we have yet to receive any invoice. Can you please advise how we can renew our licence? Every year we have the same licence renewal date for all of the 1,200 and how many, many businesses we now are, I think it's about 1,220, uh, and that date is the 1st of July 2019, and your license renews for another 12 months. And on that date, all the invoices go out, and as soon as you pay the invoice, we send out the certificate. And that gives you the right then to show that printed certificate of license in your place of business, in the office, in the reception, to let your customers and your employees and suppliers know that you're official NZ made license holder. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed on YouTube, go to youtube.com forward slash buy NZ made and hit the subscribe button and turn that little bell on next to it so you get a notification when a new episode comes up every Tuesday at 7 p.m. And if you're listening on the podcast, thanks very much. If you are not there yet, you can go onto iTunes and just search for Provenance Marketing Show. It'll come up, press the subscribe button. That's been episode 16 of the Provenance Marketing Show, and I'm your host, Ryan Jennings. See you next week for episode 17.